didn't spend any money on anything last year. Physio, chiropractor. Cloud Brothers! Cloud Brothers! Welcome to the Cloud Brothers. Like and subscribe for more quality content like this. What were you saying about physiotherapy? My I was saying I, haven't, I didn't do anything last year for any of my benefits for physio or chiropractor oh, that's or anything. Good. Yeah, I, I need to get back on that bandwagon. We're live? Well, we're recording. Yeah. Uh, say, having... say yes. Yeah. Just say yes. Yes, we're live to tape. <laughs> but there's no tape here. Uh, yeah. No film. Um, <laughs> working okay now? Oh, yeah. It's great. It's great. Uh, Everybody's having yeah. a good time. Um, so, uh, a little change of pace today. I got a little, uh, <laughs> got a little side <laughs> project I want to work on. Is it? Pivot, a little side project um, that I've been uh, tasked to do. Inside, inside gig. A little side gig. Um, so Cons little consulting. Doing a little uh, cloud-based consulting. Okay, a little cadence consulting. Yeah, a word. Uh, so we are... Wait a sec. Uh, interesting thing. Oh, I remember what I did last time. Hold on, I got a plan. This is going to be really weird. This is going to blow your mind. Hold on, but not, but not really. I'm just. Uh, I'm going to move this. I'm going to have to change some stuff for you. Move this over here. Going to move that over here. Going to move that over here. Now I got to move. Uh, wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm so confused I'm right now. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got a plan. Holding. It's all gonna be fine. It's all gonna be fine. Holding. Uh, so we're gonna go. Um, gonna change this to the other screen. That's what I'm gonna do to you. Two. Yoink! And it's gonna be all weird. That's just because I'm, I'm working on things, here. And then I got to move that. I'm gonna keep there. Uh, that I'm going to move over here. You, your big picture, are moving over here. And, um, whoop, I'm moving that over there. I'm making a okay. big screen. And then I'm uh, going to do this. Oops, uh, 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 nope, nope. I'm going to OBS at the top. Is that going to work? I can see stuff. I am totally frozen on my camera. Hmm. Frozen on the feed, yeah. Oh no, not totally. You moved a little bit. You just look really, really laggy. Yeah, it's weird. But uh, I think my voice is fine, so it doesn't really matter. So I did that because I thought. I'm just trying to think because last time it looked like I was looking at you, so I moved the screen, but. I think I must have been over here looking at you that way. So I just did it all backwards. Come on, man. I just messed it all up. Let's do it again. Uh, I'm going to try this way. I'm going to have to move my ball. Oh, no, I can't. Just, Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, it's fine. It's fine. So, great. so anyway. Uh, oh, programming, please like and subscribe. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You got yeah. to wake up and say that. Yeah, that's right. Hey, did you know the watermark doesn't have to see a view uh, subscribe button? What? The watermark on the YouTube, do you know the subscribe watermark? Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't have to be, it can be anything you want. It can be, a, oh. it can be, a, it can be your, it just has to be certain dimensions. Oh, so in my cult. But, Sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna make a little triangle, rainbow triangle or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, all right, what are we doing, Brain? Same thing we do every day, Pinky. <laughs> Try to take over the world. So, uh, got a little side hustle. I think I might have mentioned that before I started screwing around with the camera, um, which yeah. is being really weird. Whatever, yeah, though, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that, though. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and what I have to do is um, make... A, uh, well, I, 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 my option Endpoint. is to, um, 
need to work something out. And uh, basically what I need to do is build an application in a programming language of my choice, probably Python or something, that exposes a REST endpoint. And I want it to return the following uh, JSON payload. So uh, the, it has to have the current timestamp and show a static message. And that static message is supposed to say automate all the things and it's supposed to give a timestamp of the current time. All right. So the uh, the rules for that are, um, like on top of the rules that I just said, are it must be deployed on a Kubernetes cluster running in a public mm -hmm. cloud provider of your choice. Uh, for me, that's obviously going to be AWS because that's where I have an account and training. Uh, the provisioning of the cluster as well as the deployment of the application must be done through code. Code by AC. So uh, infrastructure is code, exactly. So this is your chance, to, uh, but whatever. Uh, so requirements, I have to commit all code to a public Git repository, which is why, uh -huh. I, have, which is why I have GitHub open above us. Um, uh -huh. I need to include a readme.md containing the detailed directions on how to run what is running and how to clean it up. Uh, I uh -huh. need to provide a single command to launch the environment and deploy the application. And then um, I can include prerequisites as long as they're properly documented. So like if it's not uh, my code or our code, I have to give credit, I guess. Um, and I want to be able to deploy and run the application in our own public, in my own uh, AWS cloud account. So um, I need, and I also need uh, to include some form of automated test to validate. All right. So uh, 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 the, yeah, so that's the light, that's the start. How do you want to do it? Do you want me to guide you, or do you just want me to, uh, to well give you warm, warmer, colder? Because I don't know Kirby. I don't know Kirby Nettis. <laughs> Kirby yeah. Nettis. I'm gonna say it wrong. Drive everybody up. Yep. So I don't, I don't, um, I don't know. I don't know Kirby Nettis enough to uh, do any of this, uh, but I can help with some of it. Okay, so um, I have to make a new um, a new readme.md first of all. So I guess uh, I need to do that here, right? Like right here. I'm gonna. Are call you doing me. a repository already? Well, you're making a repository. Yeah. Uh, what, I, are you, I, what, I, are you, what are you What are you going to call your repository? I don't know. Um. I'm going to call it super. automate all the things. Yeah. Or automation might be easier. I have to type it later. I, I do K8, K8 demo or something like that. Well, That's that a good be. idea. Uh, and then I'll just cite uh, Kubernetes or K8's demo project demo project um i will make this public i will add a readme file don't need a yeah. license that's probably all i need to do at this point and t to be honest uh probably uh just do some uh guiding along the way and kind of do this together uh, yeah. for this particular project i am allowed to collaborate and it is encouraged so um i think that's all i need to do here uh I don't think I need to add a git ignore. Not yet. I don't. I won't need a license for this. I don't believe. Uh, no, you don't need a license for this. Okay, it's demo. There's your readme. Yep. So I made the. Um, yep. So you have a you have a couple of choices here. Um, you can work directly on the github website mm. uh but it's probably a better idea to uh check this out locally and start working in visual studio code locally oh, on yeah. mm -hmm. your own computer so i think the first thing to do after making your github repository mm. is uh doing a git clone of your own thing that you made so the green button up in the top there. Mm -hmm. uh, 
to the git uh, git clone. Um, oh, up and, here. Yeah, so just copy one of those. I can't really see that it's super small for me, but let's see if I can make it bigger. Oh, yeah, there mm. we go. Um, so which one? Yeah, do, I think, SS, I SSH? Yeah, you don't have any SSH keys on GitHub. Um, hmm. Let's set up an SSH key for you because it's a lot easier than entering your, entering your password over and over again. So we're yeah. going to do some... Okay, fair. We're going to do some advanced stuff. So open up another tab. All right. And? Uh, search for add SSH key to GitHub. And then, uh, yeah. And you want to actually, one of these, like, I always mix this up. Um, so you want to do Linux because you're going to go into the Linux subsystem. The tab puts you on, see up, it says Mac, Windows, Linux up at the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Let's click on Linux because because you're on Windows, it said, hey, uh, your Linux or your Windows machine, you should use Windows, but you actually want to use. Before adding a new SSH key to your account on GitHub.com, you should have checked yeah. for existing SSH keys. So open Terminal and do this. Yeah. <laughs> yes, get into the, get into your Ubuntu. <laughs> Uh, you don't want the dollar sign. Oh, whoops. that's your Ubuntu. That's your Ubuntu. That's not your Ubuntu. I know. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's how you get it to it. It's not the way I do it. It's okay. That's Windows. You can do it multiple ways. Yeah. Uh. So, and get rid of this. Oh. Yeah, that's Linux. Welcome to Linux. Okay. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, so go back one on the web page. Okay. And open, oh, wait, wait. Uh, open the generating the SSH key. That's the one you want. Mm -hmm. Open that in another. I would have opened it in another tab, but that's okay. Um, no, that's fine. I can go back and do it. Don't give me no never mind. Uh, yeah. Open link in new tab. And uh, yeah. let's see. Open terminal, do this. Yeah. Oh, to your GitHub email address? Okay. So no dollar sign. No dollar sign. Boom. Here we go. Yeah, and then put whatever email address that you want in there. That's just for identifying. Yep. Oh, that's weird. What was that? <laughs> okay. And uh, we're probably not just, uh, we're probably not going to complete this today. This might be an ongoing project, um, but we will go oh, yeah, for. Yeah, it's going to be ongoing. We'll go for approximately um, one hour of doing this. Let's yeah. see, see how far we can get. So um, this is uh, generating a key, a new SSH key. Yeah. Um, oh. So, and, no, you don't want, so uh, you can put a password in, passphrase in here. I never, ever, ever put a passphrase in. Uh, and it's mostly because of automation. Mm. And if you put a passphrase in, you have to figure out how to put your passphrase into your automation. That's a pain in the butt. So yeah. just, so you just uh, enter, press enter. Enter, enter, enter. Enter is enter, your yeah. password. Passphrase, passphrase. Yeah, now you have a key. So now it should, ha now it should. So that's uh, my key there, okay. Um, I, right? Well, your key is in the file. See where it says where it's going to keep your location? That's just... Um, hash or something of, it's it, it's it says it. the uh it says the keys random art image is yeah it's a random art image it's not the actual key it's the random art image mm. so the one above it where it says the key has been saved in da 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 e d e d two i can't see the numbers but yeah and then there's the like, key the key fingerprint is sha 256 
Yeah, above is that where your location is. Home, CA, Mugford, mm, Yeah, I, I see it. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Right okay, here. Okay. Right here. Uh, it's important because you need to copy it as part of the next step. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So go okay. to the... Uh, back to the... Oh, you want that open? You, you still need that open. You but, oh, I didn't. Some... No, I didn't. I just... No, oh, I, I closed it. Okay, that's bad. My eyes are going. I'm old. Never mind. I did this. <laughs> Never mind. Windows 11 is... <laughs> Windows 11 is weird. Uh, okay, go back to the page. Hmm. Back to the page. This page? Uh, okay, so I did that. Um... Yeah. And then there's something copy, da, da, da. I think it's the other one. That, that the first page is, yeah, there you go. Add, add, uh, add the SSH key to your account on GitHub. Yeah, that's the first, that's the first page. Uh, so if you go back to the other tab, that's that one, yeah. That's this one here. That's this one, yeah. Um, copy the SSH key to your clipboard. So I have to go to, uh, what was it? Users, I guess. What are you doing? Well, the I'm looking for the SSH key that you just told me. It's in your Linux. It's in your Windows system. Oh, in Linux. Your mm. Ubuntu, 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 mm. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, mm. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Mm. Right. So you can copy and paste that thing, that first command there. The cat tilde. The, I'm not sure uh -huh. which one you're talking about. On the web page, it's behind everything else. Oh, this. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah that's Oops. without the dollar sign again. Yeah, I keep looking. I don't know why. I don't know why they put the dollar sign in there. Just to drive everybody nuts, I guess. Yeah. Or so you don't just copy and paste everything. Yeah, maybe. Uh, okay, so we'll go uh, in here. Yeah. And go over and here. I, I see. What, I see your point now. <laughs> nope, didn't work. Okay. Well, let me try right again. Click right. Yeah, uh, you should start a Ubuntu by a different way. Because it's a I, pain in the butt the way we've done it. Okay, that right. works. Never mind. All right, I just didn't copy it properly. That's all. Yeah, with if you start Ubuntu by uh, from just typing Ubuntu into I think the start bar thingy, it comes up with a little window thing that has an edit paste thing. But it doesn't matter. It worked. Um, okay, so you need to copy that line there. <clears throat> I know that I know the rest. What it's saying now is you need to copy that line. Oh, that's in Linux. Yeah. This whole line, including my email or no email. Yes, the whole line, everything. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah. Uh, copy that. Hopefully, your copy works. Uh, okay. Uh, display uh, clipboard. Alternatively. You can locate the hidden SSH folder. Oh, that's what I was trying to do. Um, but anyway, go into here, go into your settings. Yeah. I know where all the rest of this is if you want oh, to. Oh, okay, okay. I just wanted so, to look at it. So here we go. So, so I, yeah, there, and then settings, and then drop SSH down. keys. Settings at the bottom. Yeah, it's a little Almost. different. Um, so, and SSH and keys in new. that list somewhere. Yeah. And want to go and new? New new SSH keys, yeah. And then uh, call it whatever I want to call it? Yeah, call it whatever you want. Windows 11, whatever you want to call it. I usually call it the box that it's coming from. Oh, okay. So if you have an Ubuntu box, I call it Ubuntu. If it's a Mac box, I call it a Mac box. Uh, K, should I call it KH demo? Just doesn't matter. As long as you know it can't have any... Okay. So well, actually, can have spaces. Let's see, and then paste your paste your. It's thing. probably a better habit to be in not to have spaces. So to be honest. Yeah, I don't think it matters. But paste that, yeah, and then add your SSH key. Uh. And put your pa uh oh. Okay. Always. Yay. Bitwarden coming yay for, through in clutch. Yay, yay for password managers. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Okay, so you don't need the GBT or GPG. That's done. So um, now go back to the add your SSH key thingy. Whoop. Okay, so we're here. Confirm password. Yeah. Authorizing SSH now, key with SAML. Yeah, yeah, you don't need that. 
I've never done that I can before. close this now. Um, so one of the things you can do, go back to the other one, the last tab that's open. Mm -hmm. And one of the things you can see that last one that says SSH add, uh, bottle down, a little further down. Uh, for... Oh, maybe it's not on this page. All right. Well, let's go back over here. Yeah. Anyway, try. Um, no, you're already done. You're done all that. Yeah, I know, but I just uh, try. Um, uh, what I'm looking here for is adding it to the uh, SSH SS SSH agent. Oh my God, that's a hard oh, word to say. SSH SSH agent. Yeah, SSS agent. So you can do, um, we can just try to check it out and see if it works by Generating context. Generating your SSH key and adding it to the SSH agent. This is what you're yeah, looking okay. for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, at the bottom of that page, there is SSS agent. Uh, generating, you're already done. Yeah, that one. Adding your key to the SSS agent. So copy and oh, paste here. that eval one. So this is putting your key into your uh, SSH agent, which it, 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 you're putting in your, uh, like pre-logging you in kind of thing. Okay. You probably, you probably I'll, do, I'll that do it again. Is that if you type that one to you, it doesn't work. Mm -mm -mm. There you go. It'll give you a PID ID, which is a process ID. Yep, process ID 73. And then the next one, that, that's just copy and paste that one. SSH, SSH add, and then that thing. Mm -hmm. And if you'd named it anything else, you would have to change that. But we went with the default, so you just copy and paste that. Okay, so um, for this one, uh... Am I doing? I'm confused here. No. Uh, add. No, hold on. Stop. I'm not stop. doing anything. Stop. 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 I'm talking to myself. I'm not doing anything. Uh, actually, does it tell you anything on the page? Hold on. That's add your better. SSH private key to the SSS agent. If you created your key with a different name, or if you're adding an existing key that has a different name, replace IDE two five five one nine in the command yeah, with the name of your thing. private key file. No, I, I don't need to. I, th I don't think I changed anything. It's no, you all... didn't change anything. No, it's... Okay. So uh, add the SSH key to your account on GIS, GitHub, which I believe we did already. Yeah, I already did that. Um, that one's so hardware your, security. The, so, the, so, so if you had another SSH key that you were connecting to a different service from, Geesh. you you can add more than one SSH key to your SSS agent. Okay. And your S SSH, SSH agent. Good to know. Oh Good to know. God, that's hard to say. But what you're doing is that, that the SSS agent is the same thing as putting your username password in automatically and connecting through SSH. And that way you don't have to put your username password in 800 mm. times a day. I think that's it's pronounced agent Shh, agent Shh, agent yeah, way like easier it. to say yeah shade it uh yeah so just hit enter and oh. that will have your key and if you do ssh dash add and then uh hyphen l no ssh add is one word it's all one word or hyphen ssh it's above. See, it's, a, it's right above. Oh, Same command. okay. Gotcha. SSH dash add. Yeah. What, do I have to do a squiggly? Dash, 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 no, dash. L for list. That's oh, and there's one my key. Keys. Okay. Yeah. So if you try to connect and you do SSH add or SSH add and list and there's nothing there, that means that you don't have a key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's all done. Nice. Uh, now you can go back to your GitHub repo. Okay. 
And this is advanced ish stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. That's pretty but cool. You can, you, can, uh, you can read up about all this stuff. Yeah. On your own. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. So go back to your repo. Your repo. repo. Whoa, that's weird. Yeah. There's my repo. Hello, repo. Yeah. And now go to the code thing. The green thing. It's always the same. And you see how it doesn't have that message anymore? I did notice that. Yeah. Yeah. So just copy that thing into the clipboard and paste it. Um, into paste the... it down into the Ubuntu thing. Mm -hmm. Now, there's another thing you may want to do here, too. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. You might... You might want to make a projects directory because you might work on other projects. Yeah, fair. Uh, or you can just put it in the root of your user because you don't really use it for anything else. So. Yeah. But if it was a if it was a Mac or something like that, I would actually put it in like a documents projects folder or something. But I think it's fine fine for now. Okay, so just enter then. Yeah. No such file or directory. I do git clone. Sorry. Got to do git clone and then paste that. What do you mean? Well, you don't have any commands there. You just have the repo link. Oh, I have to type git clone. It's a one yeah. word, like this. No, no, two different words. Yeah. That one. Uh, mm, mm, mm. It's funny because you understand this conceptually more than you understand <laughs> from that stupid video that we did. Oh yeah, I know. I get it. Uh, and you want to say yes to this? This is pretty standard stuff. Okay. And there you go. Now you have your uh, repo in your Ubuntu um, thing. Nice. So if you do it ls. ls. Ls, yes. There we are. Your, and then do a cd mm. into your thing. Oops. So you have two repos. You have my repo and your repo. CD, uh, it's CD and then space and then the name of the folder. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, it's the same as Windows. CD directory. And then LS. And, and there's the my readme. Only thing, hmm. only thing you have in your readme is that there's your readme. So now... Nice. Here's where we deviate from what you do and what I do, because I there's no way in hell that I would be doing this on a Windows box, just period. Um, so what we need to do is figure out, do you have Visual Studio Code installed on your computer? Yeah, I actually need to get that. Uh, I'm not sure if I have it on this one. Yeah, let's do that. I first. believe I do. Number one. Uh, yes? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yes, you do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, we need to do some Googling now to figure out how to access the Win the Win Linux subsystem files from Windows. Because you need to be able to edit that code, but I don't know where that folder is. Uh, so you need to Google that. Sorry, what'd you say? Uh, I don't know how to get access to the windows linux subsystem folder so you have to do some googling so access files in windows linux subsystem something like that no not install access access files wsl You want to access files, no Windows, just access files from WSL. Oh, access Linux files of running WSL distro does it have to be running or yeah. something different? Okay, You're, it so, is running. So it we're going running. open File Explorer, click tap on the Linux navigation. Uh, you might have to put oh, here it is. on here. Oh, there is one. Wow, nice. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, it's there already. Yeah, this one. Yeah. 
and then actually go back go back what are those folders saying i can't read them it's a docker desktop and docker desktop data from when it was oh no it's in ubuntu yeah you want to go into uh, it doctor uh docker project and then uh home i think yeah and then you and then uh hmm. you're, you're in here right this is where all my AWS uh, landscape, SSH, Terraform, K8 demo, Terraform, EC2 lab. Yeah, K8, K8 demo is the one that you want. Mm -hmm. um, can you just open this from? Uh, yeah, don't don't do that. Can you just open this folder from uh, Visual Studio Code? Because that's way simpler than what I used to do. Go into Visual Studio Code and see if you can get into the same folder. So go to the files. No, sorry, that you had it. You had it right. The little, the little file icon. Yeah, up, up, up. This one. The little no down. That one. Yeah, click on that. Yeah, uh, add a, open a folder. Now, can you still see the Linux thing in there? That's what I was wondering. Uh, it doesn't. Oh, well, I didn't see it, but. Or it might be, I don't know, here. Hold on. Oop. Uh, oop. Okay, that's way too small for me. I cannot make it bigger. No, I, I, I don't, unless it's in libraries. Nope, no, I don't, uh, I do not see it. No, it's not that okay. Odd. So you have to. Uh... No, hold on. Uh, so I go. Uh... You can oh. can you map this drive? You don't want to copy it. Can you map this drive? I'm not sure uh, what you mean exactly. How do I map it? I got Google. Uh, try this one. Uh... Google access WSL from Visual Studio Code. Come on, catch w up with me. Um, WSL files from Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code. No, no, Visual Studio and Vis yeah, that's one, yeah. The top one's the right one. Start VS Code, press F1, remote dash WSL. Okay, well, that's easy enough. So it says start VS, press F1. Oh. Oh, nice. Uh, select mm -hmm. remote. Well, if you start typing out, it'll. If you start typing yeah, I, I it kind out, of want to look I kind of want to look around, though. Uh, okay. Remote dash WSL. It says uh, help. New window. Want the help. Oh, here it you is. Remote dash to... WSL, new WSL window. Yeah, there you go. Uh, VS Code Server you... for WSL quit unexpectedly. Check WSL terminal for more details. What's it say on the bottom there? Hang on, I'm just retrying. It says, probing if server is already installed. Launching Docker desktop data. Hmm. It says connecting to server, but it's not doing that. I ignored it. Not sure. Use the file menu to open your folder. Hmm. Can you go to, uh, can you open that link instead of just a preview on the web page? All you're looking at is the preview. Oh, is it working? 
Or you just opened up SSH. That's, no, that's not what you want. No, I know, but I was just seeing. Uh... Yeah. On the web page, open up the full thing, yeah. Surprised you can't see the Linux folder in yeah, here. Yeah, it's weird. Because it definitely it shows in. up here. Like, it's right here. Yeah. Pass underneath the control panel. Yeah. What happens if you right-click on... Um... Yeah. Open up the page there, or send me the link to the Linux. This is, this is why I don't do this. Um, the... Can you click on the full page developing the Windows subsystem thing? That one, yeah. And can you send me that link? Oh, uh, yep. A Discord chat. Okay, there you go. All right, thanks. The other option here is to check it out in Windows and do the Git checkout in Windows and mm -hmm. not use the subsystem. Uh, yeah, I want to go there. This one, there's probably uh, getting started. Install Windows subsystem. You have that. Install Visual Studio Code, not in WSL. You've done that. Install the re remote development extension pack. You know, you haven't done that. Okay, so which, uh, that's here? Okay, all right. That one, yeah. Yeah, that one. Okay, what folder am I selecting? Oh, it's just that's what I had open before. I see. Uh, remote development. Yeah, install. Yeah. Okay. It says installed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. It's, it's asked me if I want so to now, install it. Now, now do that F1 or F11 thing again. Or, uh, what was it? Uh, WSL? Remote something. WSL, uh, oh. Hmm. It, was remote, it was remote something. Go back one page. F1. F1 using remote, new window. Remote. It's remote WSL. Yeah, remote. but it's a little weird because it says uh, file, um, or it's F1, sorry. F1. Type remote R. R. Remote R. Yeah, Type it's, R. All, it's all here. Um, remote. I can't see it. <laughs> that one, yeah, that should work now. That should work now. There you go. Nope. Oh, you bastard. That's what you think. Um, yeah, it's the exact same. Oh, that's weird. Okay, Does so... Does that have to, re have to say you have to restart anywhere? Maybe. I can try restarting it. Because uh, that's a good it's question. Called... Wait. Oh. From the... Oh, wait. We're not doing it right. Okay. Open the remote folder. Open the remote folder or workspace from the WSL terminal. Open the WS terminal window. Da 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 da. Navigate to the folder you would like to open in VS Code. And what the hell is going on here? Ah, now it's updating Visual Studio Code. Is I guess it finally uh, is doing the remote development extension pack. It just closed it and took it away from me. So I think it's it is updating up here. Oh, it's doing it's doing stuff. Yeah, it just, it just pulled it from me and it says this updating uh, Visual Studio Code. Already, they're gonna restart for you. Uh, I don't know. It just shut down on me. I don't see it. I don't see it offering to restart. 
So I will see if it wants to restart. Yeah, I probably needed a restart. I did restart it, um, but then it, it anyway, took yeah. control away from me. Okay. Different. All right, so we'll do that again. It's right at the top. Popping open. Opening remote. Yeah, same deal. Um, okay, I'll get to abandon this. Well, it's saying Docker well, desk, desktop data. Like I'm, because I'm pretty sure it's using uh, this uh, for Docker before so there might be it might be uh something well, you want to before. stop 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 or start docker desktop is docker desktop running on your machine right now? Uh, I don't maybe know. it needs to be running i don't know why that would be pointing to docker desktop but a remote for docker might make sense Okay, I got a different idea here. Okay, well, we can uh, move on. Uh, no, go back to... to uh, Stalker. Good. Okay. I'm trying to try to try the same thing with this running, Ugh. see if it makes any difference. Okay. All right, we'll do it one more time, and then we'll move on. Yeah. I can actually follow the instructions from the page that sent me. Uh, okay. No dice. Close that. Closing close everything. That. Go back to the Ubuntu window. Yeah, close that. Too. Back to the Ubuntu window. Yep. Uh, and done and done. Uh, CD to uh, see if there's a CD to the root. CD CD space forward slash. That's the root to it, ls. And is there a mount directory? Is there an yep. mnt directory? Yep. Cd, cd to mnt. Cd space mnt, yeah. Type code dot, code space dot. Installing visual server or Visual Studio Code server for 64 and a long string of uh, yeah. letters and numbers. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm reading you? No. The, instruc the instructions that you have right underneath. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Type code uh, dot in the terminal. When doing this for the first time, you should see VS Code fetching components needed to run in WSL. This should only take a short while and is only needed once. If this command does not work, you may need to restart your terminal. You may not have added VS Code to your path when it was installed. So that's 100% downloaded now. After a moment, a new VS Code will appear. You'll see a notification. Huh. Interesting. Huh. So, yes. And then uh, your C drive is your top one. Mm -hmm. And then I think your WSL is the WSL, and the WSL has your stuff in it. Uh, or no, sorry, what's the last one? WSLG. Yes, G. What the hell's going on? Okay, go to the C drive. Go to the C. Top one. Mm -hmm. well, and is there is there a Linux folder in there? Or a mount folder or something. We're looking for your files that you just made. Uh, users. No, it's your Linux. It's a Linux user. It's so confusing. I think I might have gone backwards on you. Um, hold on. Uh, what in the fuck is going on? Excuse my language, but uh. Hmm. Well, I can try that now, I guess. 
Well, we did that. Gonna try it. Yeah, that might work now. Well, that's good. No errors, but I don't think it's any different. Click on the folder thingy. <laughs> the file right above the search on the left bar, the navigation bar on the left, that one, yeah. Open folder. Uh, Is that the one I'm looking for? Kate's huh? demo? Let's say Kate's demo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it work? Oh, it looks like it. Uh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, there you go. Woohoo! Oh, <coughs> we um, did it. Yeah, they have to because I'm that guy. It's a lot less, it's a lot easier on a Mac or Linux. I might, you, you might get a Linux box in the mail one day. Just cause, um, well, then I'm, and, I'm not going to be, the trouble with complaining about that is uh, all the streaming software doesn't work well on Linux. So um, I can, but I do have, uh, hold on. I have a fix for that though. Uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 hold on, hold on. It, it'll be even better. This oh, little this, uh, this little device here. Uh -huh. HDMI capture card. Oh, yeah, okay. If uh, I can put that into the box without being on the computer. So then, if I need to restart anything... Oh, yeah, okay, got it. It doesn't matter um, because it's a different computer. So that is yeah. actually that's actually a really really good idea. You don't you don't you don't have to mail me one, but I'm just saying that I get to get one. No, I think it's it's a super uh, idea. I'm in. All joke all jokes aside, it's probably worth it. Um, oh yeah, I think so. Uh, just for sanity, because this stuff is hard enough. It's so good without for, it's so good without know Windows stuff. getting in the way. The fact that you got this working. It's yeah. good because I I probably would have given up and installed Linux. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's what you're used uh, to, right? And I'm I'm not I'm not used to Windows either because I I don't do this stuff. But I imagine that's w what's going to happen is that when I I start uh, doing the DevOps stuff on a regular basis on Linux, I'm going to be like, oh man, I remember when I used to use Windows. I'm I'm a convert. Not that I'm I'm not sold on no, Windows. No, it's not. That's that's. I've never that liked Windows. One, one, one thousand percent. What's going to happen? Is I was the same. It's like, oh, you can use Windows. Windows is everywhere. Uh, but then it's like, oh, you got to jump through so many hoops. Anyway, yeah, it works. It's a lot better than it used to be. That's yeah. what I will say. And uh, I used to have to do a lot more. So the, open up your README. Actually, let's, since we're so, in here, we'll yeah. we'll we'll put your requirements in your README and then uh, call it call it. Oh yeah, that's so, a good idea. Okay, so I'll have to find my file here uh, just to re refer to it off, off I screen. Can, I, so I read it. Um, you're not off. You're no, not off screen unless I'm off. Unless no, I'm I meant not. the document I'm looking at. It should be off screen, is it not? No, I can see it. What do you mean? Oh, I see. I see what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. You're sharing. I see what's going on. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's just weird view for me. That is off screen. You're correct, sir. Okay. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. So the problem statement was. So you want to, uh, so I'll, I'll do some notes for you, actually. Well, you, you can tell me, uh, you can tell me what you think I should write here. Like I, I, it's, yeah. a, um, so making. I do, um, I do I... bullet, I, I do bullet forms mm -hmm. and bullet in the markdown is a star is a star. Mm-hmm. So do a shift eight and uh, first thing you need to do is decide on the programming language. You already said Python. Yep. Uh, Python's not a bad choice. Um, well, I know they're... Python. I, I don't know. What do you think well, of, it... for this? What do you think about JavaScript is a uh... well, node? A specific oh, yeah, it, a, that's true. Node, which is JavaScript. Yeah. Uh, mm. On the server. So Node.js. Node.js, Python, um, yeah, I don't actually pick those two. There's other ones you can use too, but because I know, I know uh, those few languages uh, well enough that I could, 
uh, yeah. could get through this. So basically, with yeah. one of those languages, I have to return a JSON payload uh, that exposes a REST on endpoint that says a message automate all the things and uh, provides a timestamp. So I have to use a Kubernetes. Um, yeah. Let's see, using a, a Kubernetes cluster. Okay. In AWS, because mm -hmm. that's what I'm choosing. Um, yeah. And I and okay. I I have to deploy through code. I need to do the through code. Okay. Um. So. What else did we miss here? Neither. So your REST endpoint would be one of the bullets. Uh, the JSON payload. Oh yeah, right, right. I don't know. Oh, no, I didn't write that. Return uh JSON payload which says which states. Uh, I don't think you need to worry about that right now. Just say return. This is very broad oh, strokes right now. Fair. Okay. Return uh, returns. You have Kubernetes cluster already? I can't see. Yep, it yeah. says returns JSON payload, Python or no Node.js. The third, uh, well, line five is using a Kubernetes cluster. Yeah. And then uh, the last one Must is be... deploy through code. Done through code, yeah. Okay. Good. And uh... then uh, we don't have to specify the thing for a crowd provider because I said it has to be Kubernetes launch. class A3 AWS. Um, I need to commit all code to a public Git. Yeah. Needs to run from a single command. So a single command to launch the environment and deploy the application. To a public so be... kit. Get. Um, hold on. Sorry. Uh, yeah, include a readme, which is what I'm on, what I'm typing on. Yeah. So, Mar that's so a Marty, little, Mar that's a little meta. You've already done one. Yeah. Uh, detailed <laughs> directions. Okay, and um, then I don't. Yeah. I'm not going to get too detailed on that one. Uh, provide well, a single command to the environment and deploy. Yeah, single command to deploy everything, environment and the application. So it's not deploying the environment oh. and the application. It's doing both with one command, one step deploy. With a so single actually command. Type out one one step deploy. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. One. Step deployment, and then uh, yeah, I wouldn't worry about the next one. I'm not worried um, about that. And then, uh, then, well, so you need to be able to. Uh, one of the things is other people have to be able to check oh, out yeah. your repo and do their own thing. So, uh, what do they call it? That's portability. I think make it portable, and it says public cloud accounts. So. Uh, I think that means you're um, not going to, you don't want it to be AWS specific. You build it first in AWS. But yeah. You want to try to be cloud or something they call cloud, cloud agnostic. agnostic. Yeah, cloud agnostic. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then uh, automated validation. Some kind of test. Uh, yeah. And if you move the document, you can review, or you can just do a. Uh... Oops. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, let's do this. Whoop. Yep. Ah. We like dumb windows. Um. I think you got everything. I've got. What's I think. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Demo at the yeah, end. Yeah, and then. Uh... Demo and uh, keep track of the learnings, which I think was what we're doing kind of right yeah, now. Yeah, uh, what'd you do? Uh, well, I, re I recorded it as content for YouTube. Yeah. Please like and subscribe. Hit Thanks. the thumbs up button. This, this don't was... Don't, don't, don't notify yet. What? We need, to up, we need to upload it yet. I said, please like and subscribe, but don't hit the notify button. You don't want to know. <laughs> good one, good uh, one. Thank you. Yeah. This this is not recorded before a live studio audience. 
laugh track. All right. Laugh track. <clears throat> okay, so uh, save this, save, no, wait, we're not done yet. I know. I'm just telling yeah. you, we have uh, about five minutes left before the uh, to de- finish up to wrap this <laughs> up. All right. I mean, nice that's... little bow. Sorry, right, I stopped paying attention ten minutes ago. Me too. Um, <laughs> uh, save that. You need to save it. Oh, uh, Control S or, or yeah. Control oh yeah, S. just Control S it. Yeah. You got it. And it just saves it right. That's so cool, man. I love this thing. Yeah. So now you want to go back to your Ubuntu's. Ubuntu's. Terminal. Ubuntu's. Uh, are you in the folder? Are you in your folder? I'm, I'm in the mount. Uh, so... uh, change back to your user folder. So CD tilde. Just CD tilde and then enter. Tilde? Like that? Tilde is the little squiggly line one. Oh, yeah. I always forget that. You taught me that, but I always forget what it's called. Yeah, I just love the tilde words. It's fun words tilde. to say. Tilde, 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 tilde. Do you know um, what? The, do you know what the number sign or pound key, the real name for it is? Hashtag. Octothorpe. Octothorpe. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Thorpe. Yeah. Woo. Uh, okay, now CD into your KH directory into uh, whatever you call it. I don't remember. Okay, it's demo. You're in there? Okay. Yeah. So now, Gu, uh, you're not going to remember these things, but you'll remember them after you type them a thousand times. Do a git status. Like that? Yeah. See, that's. See, oh, that's it says red, modified. Right? Yeah, it says modified. So it's modified, but it's not staged yet, if you remember from the. Uh... Oh, I should put the. I should re upload that. Or maybe we should... Ah, never mind. I don't want to do that GitHub parable thing again. Well, we can do the kid parable, but uh, I'll talk to you about anyway. that off screen. Off yeah. recording. Uh, so uh, you need to do a git add and then that file. So git space add and then that file. So you just type the readme.md? Yeah. Uh, is that how it's spelled? All lowercase like that? So do a git status again. Should be green now if you got it right. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, so now there's a little trick to commit it. So do a git uh, git space commit and then space dash m for message. Mm-hmm. And then uh, space and then a quote. And then whatever message you want, like uh, uh, requirements update or something, make it make sense. Mm-hmm. Let's do requirement summary. Yeah, let's get enter. Okay, hold on. Oh, you, uh, need, to, you need to do that. You have never set up Git on here before, so you have to set up your oh, identification. So I have to go uh, Git config. Uh, dash dash like that. I can't see that. Well, it says get config and then dash dash my email address. Yeah, but you, if you want, uh, you can just copy and paste the the command. Oh, but you actually have to do that. global user dot email. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then I have to do it again for your one's email and one's your name. And if you remember from the Git parable, that's how it identifies the yeah, hashtag. It uses those things to make the hashes. Yeah. And that's how it that's how it knows that you did it instead of I did it, or my son. VC Versailles. VC Versailles. Oh, I see. All right. I'll do this. And change your email address. Yep. That doesn't work. Yeah, I always try to do that. Yeah. Wiener. Uh, it works on the it works on Ubuntu. Such <laughs> <laughs> a nerd. Oh my god. <laughs> so am I. Uh, get config uh, global user dot email. I guess it's just enter, and then I have to do the second yeah. one. Correct. Oh, okay. That's right. And then Your identifiers. And if you wanted to leave them, it doesn't really matter. 
they'll work that way. Like it doesn't care what's in there. Yeah. But just for work and for other people, but then it, you want these. And it's to just, be it's better if I do this because I know who yeah. I am and I know my email address. Yeah. I'm just saying it will work without it. That's all. So now I want to do. Uh, now you want to do the git add again. The git commit dot. No. Oh. The, the, oh, yeah, the git commit. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Git commit. You're correct. Okay, one now file change, ten insertion. So now if I go, what was now it? Get, get status again. Now you're ready to be pushed, but you haven't yep. done anything pushed. So do... Uh, it says, uh, nothing uh, to commit, working tree clean. So get push. That's yeah. it. Yeah. There you go. Now go to the GitHub. All right. Now when go I go to... to go to github and look at my readme it should all be in there oh you didn't uh oh we want to fix something let's fix that yeah let's sure fix that and we'll wrap it up in editing so, or in here no on your other one so i couldn't see so oh you need spaces you need a space oh after your... the star yeah oh okay yeah i'll teach you markdown that'll be next week okay yeah that's cool um, I just said no. I didn't know it was supposed to turn blue. All right, so, so do control the, uh, S. Again. Yeah. And do all the same things again in the Ubuntu commands. So I'm here, So, but this one I'm going to go... And just get add. I guess get it's... Add first. Yeah, and then you don't need to do get status because you know, you know what's going on so now. So now I'm doing get push uh, or commit? No, commit, yeah. And the commit, and you can, yeah, you can leave it that way. Realistically, like in the real world, you probably should have changed that to like fix the markdown or something like that. But just for now, it's fine. Now, if you do a refresh, it should all look good on your thing there. Nice. Okay, mm -hmm. so that that so it's not stars. It actually turns into bullet points. Yeah, from oh, yeah. what so, you were saying so, yeah, from markup. Just the last thing, final thing. Uh, in one of your Google tabs, yeah. Uh, look up Markdown cheat sheet. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, markdown oddly is one word. <laughs> yeah, oh, it makes sense. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put yeah, this so go. under oh. here. Okay. Yeah. Let's so see, look, see. It looks the like it's sign. The Omicron or the Omicron uh, Octothorpe. <laughs> and how you remember it, how you remember it, how many points are on the outside of a pa it, hashtag? There's eight. Yeah. So all you have to remember is Thorpe. Octothorpe. Octo Octothorpe. Yeah. Look it up. It's interesting. Uh, so yeah, so it's octo is H one, octo octo is H two, octo 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 <laughs> is H three. Uh, uh, the forward slash or the greater than sign is a block quote. Uh, numbers and then the dashes are on. Anyway, it's all in there. Horizontal rules there. align like a okay, like a ruler yeah. line. Okay. And if you want, and if you want to be, if you want, and the table tables are cool. If you want your coworkers to like you, do good read me. Yeah, I yeah, I, I that makes sense. And if you want your coworkers to not like you, don't do good read me. For quality content like that, <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe and click that notification bell for quality content. Take it's your markdown skills to the next level. Okay. Um well we are Wrap. officially at four minutes Wrap. over. Wrap That's a wrap. Uh, thanks for watching the Cloud Brothers. Uh, like and subscribe. The stream is over. Goodbye. Clear yet? Are we clear yet?